What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir. Last time, well, we finished the tutorial. Now it's time to get in the driver's seat. Bad jokes are bad, but you can imagine. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. The whole no personality, doesn't really know pop culture references. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division, welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. Uh, if it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everyone. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I'm partnering Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. <laughs> All right, so this is our first real detective case. Aren't we excited? It's probably actually one of my favorite cases that I Are you drunk? Remember. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got yeah, this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. You know this place? Sure. It's near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. Drive. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant and fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. I now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. No, fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riot. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. <laughs> the relationship is going to be fantastic. I can't wait for it to explode. OCS means Officer Candidate School, if you didn't know like I didn't. I had to look that one up. Is that you, Bukowski? 
Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. You were just mad at him a second ago. Side note. He's very honest. He won't do anything. You're the only person who's going to ever do anything in this game. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car. Probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. And that is fair. We have its tuition points. We're not going to use them. Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. That's nice. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Is he in the trunk of the car? Doesn't look like it. What we got here? A receipt for a pig. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? It's a cheap pig. You take all that meat for 320. That wouldn't be bad at all, you know? The brand name might give us something to go Insta -heat on. Insta-heat body pipe. That should be fun to do. Thirty-two years old, married, sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? The fact that he can do that math that quick was pretty impressive. Happier times, I guess. She kind of creeps me out. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Well, that's not bad. Alright, so let's go talk to Mr. Wilkie here. He sounds like an upstanding nice gentleman. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Well, tell, me, tell me why you're here. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. You seem legit. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Hmm. Do you know who this black is? Do you know Adrian Black? I can't say that. Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Pretty straight face. I like it. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. What the pipe? We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Straight face again, I like it. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? 
darker, I'd say. Look dry already. And it's about the wallet. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Uh, you're not keeping a straight face with me, good sir. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. No, I right, you, Chris. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. Let's do that. Oh, the corner's gone? Hey, there's the instruction for you to tell you to do that. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? We're going to the black house. The black... Oh, God. Adrian's house. Why is the train signal still going? Alright, before we get into this, I'm going to pause real quick. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Alright, sorry about that. Just a minute. No. Do it now. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Thank you. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Poor Adrian. Does the name Insta Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. I don't know. Safety? Well, let's check the place out. Sounds like he's dead. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Uh. She's creepy. Even if we're talking about it, she's creepy. There's no nothing else in this room. Yes, you gotta take it to the used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. I mean, a woman like that, I don't blame her. This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Let's see his picture here. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Hmm. So why does he have a picture of himself in his room? Oh. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Kavanaugh. 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 So who brought this home? Uh, I got a good guess. It's a bar. Maybe Adrian was a patron. Ah, I spoiled that one. R and I should have an address. All right. So two more hit clues. 
This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Don't tell me what to do. Eighty-two fifty cash. That ain't. I mean, that's pretty impressive. All right, it's time for our favorite time of the day. Puzzle time. I probably should have checked that. No use leaving the thing half finished. Speed run. No. I can't be right. Run button. Oh, the fact they changed it to the one it should have been set on. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. You know, would this be a gas heater? Wouldn't there be a gas leak? I don't know if shut off things were a thing back then. Okay. I don't know what the first of that is. Oh no. Oh no. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's. Yes, Doc. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I'm going to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, the occasions that made you laugh, the times that made you smile. I mean, that's not ethical at all. Let's call Arna. Operator, give me dispatch. Race our uh, records and investigation. Records and information. That's what it is. Phelps, one two four seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. That's like the fastest look up in history, and I'm all right now. Good. Get a statement from Mrs. Black, but go easy on her. She's had a rough day. Oops, sorry about that. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. You seem legit. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Mm. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Okay. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Hey, seems so good to me. So we'll be nothing good about out it. of the usual, then. Well, he came home early from work. 
He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about 7. See who Nicole is. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. You're not looking up at a straight face. Well, you kind of are, but... There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. But what if I told you you don't? What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. He thinks I'm stupid, but women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a play. God only knows. I hope you want to know that he's safe. We do too. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Okay. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. What about you? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course waiting for Adrian to come home. Even though you had a weird defense mechanism there, you seem legit about it. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. All right, more experience. Dang, there's a lot of cars. Can you drive to this one? <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Yeah, we're going to a bar. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type, but stranger things have happened. Huh. You? No, you yeah. don't. As makes me laugh every time. For someone we're running here. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Food wasn't great, but your real name is Frank Morgan. Cole Phelps, Oops. LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Well, we found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. Do you know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk. But I do. He sounds like he's telling the truth, except he's not. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Well, what about the pig that's signed by you? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's falling for some dame in Seattle. He, he wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Really? 
Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. The bad part is, he sounds like he's legit. But we know he knows. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. No way I'm writing this idiot up. He didn't do anything, so, uh... Oh, sister? Well, if it's all the same to you, I'll go back to my drink. He really didn't do anything. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. What case notes? All right. Where to? I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> the type is clever. Hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. KGBL calling car 11K. 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Message from technical services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Repeat, not human. As compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Roger, KGPL. Found a real this guy in, Phelps. I mean... If you haven't figured that out, yeah, I'm disappointed. We know he's alive at this point. How else would that blood exist? Well, let's check the place out. Come on. You see apartment two? Apartment two. This place was probably like really expensive back in the day because LA is still expensive. Ran a pickup for no reason. Help you, gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone, I just needed to get away from LA. I won't put up with struggle. Just. Let me get my things. Do it. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Oh. Remember, the gun is the last. I mean, this guy isn't that. I mean, he's a pretty decent sized guy. There's no point running, Adrian. I don't think he should be able to like outrun a former Marine. Mr. Black, get back here right now. It's over, Stop Adrian. Right there, Adrian. Yo, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Spoiler warning. It wasn't. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you can go a long way in this department. Hmm. Perfect. You can't go wrong there. Alright guys, next time on LA Noir, let's go ahead and get to the next case. We'll do sidestep adventure, just not right off hand. I'll see you then.